In the aftermath of the East Palestine train derailment, firefighters realized they need more training. Now Norfolk Southern is helping provide it. Today, the company held a training session at its large railroad yard in Bellevue, Ohio, just a two-hour drive west of Youngstown. First News anchor Stan Boney made the trip to learn what's being taught. Among the 50 firefighters at today's training were three from East Palestine, including Deputy Fire Chief Rick Gorby. Chief Keith Drabick was here earlier in the day. Yeah, it's a whole different situation on February 3rd, so it, we wouldn't have been able to do what we learned today anyhow. What Norfolk Southern provided was what was called the safety train, among which included an engine, two boxcars, and two tankers. One of the boxcars doubled as a classroom. The firefighters were taught how to deal with each piece in the event of an accident or fire. So when we want to brake just the locomotives, we can use the dynamic brake system. It's going to produce a lot of excess energy. It's going to get fed through the grids and blown out as excess heat coming out. That's the two main potential spots for electrical fires on a locomotive. An important part of today's training was this railroad car. These are protective housings that you would find on top of a typical tanker car. And not only are we concerned about the housing, but what's inside them, the various valves that control and monitor what's happening inside. I didn't know the differences between certain valves, and now I think I have a decent education on it. I just hope we never have to do it again. <laughs> It starts off the day in the classroom where we give someone just general railroad 101. Norfolk Southern spokesman Connor Spielmaker says the safety train will stay in Bellevue for a couple of weeks with 350 firefighters having signed up to take part. Eventually, a permanent training center will be built somewhere near East Palestine. We're working with you know everyone involved, the local community, the governor's office to identify where it makes the most sense and then obviously we'll figure out what we want to put there. Anybody has a rail running through their community, they need to take the class. In Bellevue, Ohio, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.